Hi, I'm Vin. I'm Vin, a Samsung MTP fan from 2014. And I'm here to talk about Vipo. And I'm from Vietnam as well. Hi, I'm Chantal. I'm from Germany. And I've been a K-pop for 10-ish years now. My favorite group is BTS. Rock, paper, scissors. Okay, you first. Ah, wait, me first. Woo. <laughs> uh, finish the sentence, never have I ever. Never have I ever been to a BTS concert. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, this timing didn't work out, so that uni didn't have any time, no money. <laughs> <sighs> what do you think about the current industry? <laughs> okay. Loaded question. V-pop industry doesn't treat the artists that well. Um, when SD left GTT5, he told the press that company only pay him two to three million dong per month. That means uh, he was paid less than a um, part-timer at Circle K. We are talking about the biggest name. This is what happened to them. Something maybe we have in common. We, we love our idols, but uh, we understand that the system is just yeah. a piece, piece of crap. Can't see shit, can't see shit. Yellow. When I'm loud, the next round. What do you think about my idol? <laughs> oh, this <laughs> might be too early for this. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't know anything. I've seen his face everywhere in Vietnam. If I see in an advertisement, there's a 60% chance it'll be him, you know? <laughs> so I know he's famous, but that's, that's all I know about him. Yeah. <laughs> Another big question I think we'll agree on. What do you think about idols' privacy, about exposure to their lives? I think the idol only have, um, only sell you their product, their music, their performance. I follow the artists for their music. Their private life isn't up to me to decide. Yeah. But on K-pop idol, they have, they have contract to not dating or something. I believe like Hyuna and like that, her boyfriend Eden. from... Yeah, yeah. She was fired before they, you were dating and... And meanwhile, the internet is exploding like, oh my god, I can't believe they would do this to their fans. How could <laughs> Hyuna do this and expose... I was like, Bruh. people, like, they're adults. Of yeah. course they want to date. All I care about is that they still have passion for what they're doing, they still enjoy what they're doing, put in effort to it, and that they respect their fans. Ooh. What is your inspiration for being a K-pop fan? They make great music. They, they know how to make something fun to watch. I continue liking K-pop because it's just a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I understand. <laughs> Have you ever been in a fan war with any other fandom? How was it? Did it affect you in any way? <laughs> Biggest fan war that I've been to, and like this is very famous the Sun Tum MTP fandom Sky versus Big Bang fan. Really? Yeah. Why? Because. Where's the connection? <laughs> because they accused Tom of being plagiarism. Mm. They put out all of the clothes, say that he was trying to be a GD copycat and all of that. There was a time that I like, I have to dig in every fashion magazine and like, GD isn't the first to like invent this and that. And that was such a nightmare. You know, the true detectives are in these fandoms. <laughs> yeah. They go back years and find specific evidence for all, for anything. It's just entertainment here, people. It's not a competition. Ooh. What do you wish to change for your idols and fandom? I mean, there is still this big stigma and what people view us as. K-pop is seen as this like, all oh, little girls music. And K-pop itself, I wouldn't consider a genre in itself. So if you say you don't like bubblegum pop, then okay, there are K-pop songs that aren't bubblegum pop, you know? There's so many people who just don't care to learn about it, but then they have an opinion. I would want to change everything. <laughs> 
about like the industry and how people react to the industry. <laughs> Pull out one more block. <laughs> I didn't plan further. No. No! <laughs> Happy losing. It's time for your punishment. Ever heard of mm before? <laughs> Let me introduce your taste buds to one of Vietnamese's most iconic food, which is also, how do you pronounce Sun Tong it? Sun Tong Favorite dish. Eat one and feel it. <laughs> Gladly. Okay, so this is Chao Cao. This is Vietnamese tradition food. Just take this one, chew everything, and then you spit it out. This this is used for like wedding. And we are talking like when we prepare this for him, like we are trying to marry him every <laughs> year. Let's go! <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. Mm-hmm. My tongue is kind of numb. <laughs> is that normal? <laughs> Okay, that was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He likes this. You know, the aftertaste, kind of like Jägermeister. Yeah. The aftertaste is better than the experience <laughs> of. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm glad I tried that. Now I know to never eat it again. <laughs> it's really numb. Is like, that normal? Today was really fun. I, uh, I'm, I learned a lot of things and this, this game was really intense and yeah, thanks for having me. I enjoyed today's game. Uh, despite being a loser, I at least learned something new about Vietnamese food and V-pop. And it's fun to talk to another fandom person. <laughs> Bye everyone! Bye -bye.